For our museum project, we chose the Baltimore Museum of Industry. The museum is located at 1415 Key Highway in Baltimore, Maryland. The museum is located right on the harbor, just minutes away from other inner harbor attractions, as well as historic Fort McHenry. The museum is built in what used to be the Platte Oyster Cannery, which was located on the northwest branch of the Patapsco River. The museum was founded in 1977 by the mayor's office in order to preserve the industrial history of downtown Baltimore. The museum features several exhibits highlighting Maryland's industrial past, including a cannery, a machine shop, a pharmacy, and an exhibit called Maryland's Milestones, which highlights Maryland's technological past. The exhibit we chose is called The Print Shop, which highlights the printing industry in Baltimore. Let's take a tour of the exhibit.
The goal of many of the exhibits at the Baltimore Museum of Industry is to immerse the viewer in the past. The print shop exhibit does this by using vintage lights and fans to simulate the conditions of the past. This illusion is enhanced with the use of painted brick walls and authentic warehouse windows. Now that we have taken a tour of the exhibit and looked at how things are displayed, as well as the environment that has been created, let us now look at the message the exhibit communicates. Here you can see one of the exhibit's docents demonstrating how one of the presses being displayed was used. As you can see from this demonstration, printing was a very labor-intensive industry. On-the-job injuries would have come as no surprise with the many pieces of machinery that body parts or clothing could have easily been caught in. Although this was the case, no mention of death or injuries was present anywhere in the exhibit. As we stood there watching the demo, the docent told us the story of how former Maryland Comptroller Louis Goldstein used to work this very machine as a child. He would work the machine before and after school each day. It was then that we realized no children were mentioned anywhere in the exhibit. Many of the other exhibits give visitors a view of the past which includes the harsh reality of child labor, but these views were present nowhere in this exhibit. Besides children, there were several other groups that we felt were left out of the exhibit. We noticed pictures of women throughout the exhibit, but none of the other materials or artifacts focused on them at all. African Americans were given space in the exhibit, but only in the context of an African American only newspaper. African American involvement in the printing industry as a whole was not mentioned. One group that was neglected, which many might not ever realize, was German Americans. At one point in Baltimore, more newspapers were printed in German than in English, a fact that was never mentioned in the exhibit. The docents informed us that the current exhibit was actually the third version of the print shop exhibit in the museum. When rebuilding the exhibit for the third time, they were asked for their input concerning the layout. This input was later ignored in favor of a layout designed by an outside company. If we were asked to redesign this exhibit, there are a few ways we might go about it. If the spatial limitations were to remain, we feel that the current elements and layout of the exhibit best represent the industry as a whole. If, however, more space were allotted for the exhibit, then there are two ways in which we might redo it. The first way would separate the machines from the rest of the exhibit to show special emphasis on them by themselves. The second way would be to reorganize everything in the exhibit in a strictly chronological order. This is something that was attempted with the current exhibit, but not accomplished. Overall, we feel the exhibit is a good representation of the Baltimore printing industry as a whole. Even though some groups were not mentioned, we feel this was primarily due to the spatial limitations of the exhibit and nothing else.